the touch of death actually feels. Yeah, but see, the touch of death is horseshit. But see, you're like an when expert. Someone's like, ha, and they touch you in the chest. But we don't have the ability in the body to generate that kind of energy. How, how do you know that? That's a good question. Um, it's never been done. We understand so how do you much know it's about never physiology. Been done? How do you know it's never been done? Okay. There could be someone out there with magic that I that has escaped my my grasp. No, you've studied, you've talked about with uh, Graham Hancock, and you've mm -hmm. talked about the history. Maybe it was in Roman times there was that idea was discovered and then it was lost. Uh, I would say this topic is the butt of the joke of uh, of all the martial arts jokes, uh, or mm -hmm. I think I'm I'm using the term correctly, but uh, this is definitely the butt of the joke. Are death touches real? Like you see um, these chi and these videos of this guy like doing breathing and then these guys fall like dominoes and uh, mm -hmm. they say don't touch here, they will die. And and now I've seen like you showed me that there are books that actually talk about, I've talked about Kyusho before, but uh, are they effective? Of course, if you strike the throat, the groin, the, the solar plexus, the temple, the side of the neck, uh, these are considered q show vital points, but are, is there somewhere that you actually do strike and it can be rather fatal? Well, uh, first of all, like you said, um, I, up until recently, I had never seen any book that described a death touch where this this strike will just kill somebody. I've never I'd never seen that up until recently. What I had seen were a lot of the q show charts, which show. Uh, vital points on the body where uh, they have really elaborate names that are, you know, quite mysterious. Like right here is Jin Chu, the center of man. And, uh, you know, um, all, all these spots on the body that are really uh, effective at uh, when fighting. And in conjunction with that, you have certain kinds of strikes that when you use this kind of strike or this kind of strike in this spot, it's going to be more effective. At this parallel to that are the resuscitation techniques, which also use those same spots to revive a person that's been like knocked out or drowned or, uh, you know, fallen from a building or something like that. So those two elements, I've seen tons of that stuff, but it wasn't until recently when I translated this Mabuni Kenwa book where he has, it shows six different pictures with like, hand positions like this and this and like uh, like this that just said, if you're struck with this, you will die in like three weeks without medical care. So now your question is, does is that true? So there's lots of ways to look at this. First of all, this book is called the Bubishi and it's from Okinawa and it pretty it seems it's pretty clearly from China since it's written all in kanji. Um, so it originated at some point in China. So what's, what's the picture trying to say? Is it trying to say that literally if you get hit with this, you will die? Or is it saying that, is it trying to like instill, because it's a publicly printed book. So it's like, is it trying to like scare people into uh, people that are knowledgeable in this art uh, are this deadly? Is it, so it's kind of like a trick to fool people. Or is it like meant to be a, a teaching element where if you train this strike uh, diligently, it will be much more effective than you can possibly imagine. Mm. Another, mm, that's, that's kind of how I'm trying to view it because clearly, you know, you can't, you know, kill somebody with one finger link strike unless maybe you like get your fingers all the way into their brain or something, I don't know. But uh, that's so strange. For example, you said you will die in, I don't know how out of time, is there a med? Like you said, there is med there's medicine in that book. There is, uh, I don't know. Th does he go more into the medical reasoning behind this? Because that's so strange. Like you hit someone, if it's such a lethal blow, mm. it should. It's, I don't know. It, it's really vague. It sh it tells you these it tells you these strikes and kind of a little bit of a description of them, and uh, also a, a a really strangely specific. Uh, time that will um, lead to your death. Like it's like three weeks. Sometimes it's like six months. So um, with that, and it says without medical care. And then on the following pages, there's these kind of confusing illustrations that show, um, you know, the Chinese zodiac. 
yeah. Chinese zodiac, there's like 12 animals and they stand for like, um, the, the day in Japan and in, in Asia was divided into 12, two hour sections. And those were like hour of the dog, hour of the horse, hour of this. So the medicines are like the hour of the four injuries to hour of the horse use this medicine. And, and that somehow correlates with those strikes. And there's not really that much information. So that's other than that overview, it's very hard to interpret. And they have very mysterious uh, charts of the vital points where they'll just have like horse, horse, <laughs> like here and here. And so that means this is an hour of the horse. If you get struck here. Uh, At this time of day, you need to do this. But if it's that time of day, you need to do that. No, no. It's like if, if you're struck here, it means uh, you have to take the medicine for the horse hour of day. Like it, yeah, yeah. So it doesn't actually have anything to do with time at all. In the or does it? I don't really know. So it's like uh, I it's think not, this is yeah, yeah. It's just it's mind bending, and there's not a lot of information. It's just like take this medicine for this, take this medicine for that, and uh, also it recommends you take the medicines on either side. So if you have an injury in hour of the horse, you also want to take injuries from the hour of the, or sorry hour of the rat. You also want to take injuries for the hours on this side and on this side combine those three together take that and you won't die and also you by know, the way, you try to keep an open mind regarding this but then you see this stuff like what, what can you do but wait you also mix it with sake i think it's the sake that's uh doing the the job not the other stuff yeah i'd, I'd like to learn more but the you know, you can't you I tried to look up the plants and you can't find really any information about the plants. You try to look up the uh, uh, like what's what could this possibly mean, but there's just not enough information to really make any conclusions. That being said, I quite enjoy reading about this because like this book, this book, uh, this is a book by uh, Mabuni Kenwa. So he had a book where it's basically a standard uh, kind of introduction to his style of karate. At the end of that book, he has the supplement, which was the secret book that had been passed down uh, through all the karate masters in Okinawa for who knows how long. And it had only been published for the first time in like 1930. So uh, it was very interesting to see what, what uh, that book contains and what kind of information those teachers you know, studied, because that was probably one of the very few books that... Uh, the karate practitioners in Okinawa studied from because I there's not really that many other books, old books about karate that exist at all, as far as I know. But I think this is like very. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, talk badly, but it sounds like a snake oil salesman. I, I mean, I, what, I, 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 he's selling you, know, you there, supplements and like come to my school. I'll teach you secrets, and but at the same time, he publishes it. And he's talking in a very non-scientific way. Or I mean, you're, you're talking 1930s. 1930s, we knew a lot about the human body at that point. So, well, no, I'm saying this book, this book, the supplement book was was hundreds of years old, as far as I know. So it's from way, way back in the day. So it was just a secret book that had been handed down from whenever until. Yeah. There's no the book itself. The supplemental book called the Bubishi has no information about who wrote it when it was written you know it it uh it's a very mysterious book and uh, it's one reason it's confusing is because there's another book called the bubishi in china that is completely different it's a humongous yeah. war manual that's like 240 books long and it covers everything from how to uh build siege towers to how to make uh water bottles out of a whole uh horse skin you know has these hilarious 